this idea that somehow denying that you've ever had a racist thought or denying racism is actually a form of violence. Let's watch. Hey, white ladies, denying racism in your own <laughs> self is violence. You hurt the entire cause by denying that you ever, ever, ever had a racist thought. I don't think that way. I wasn't raised that way. That's not how I feel. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You don't have to wear a hood and you don't have to tote around a fucking Confederate flag to know that there is shit inside of your brain that you need to fix or else you're still just perpetuating the problems of society. But I get called a white savior because I can admit the shit that I do. What an unpleasant human being. <laughs> Like, seriously, what is with that? Like, sure, I got my own demons. I'm sure you do, too. But I don't need to work them out on TikTok. What did you think of that? I think the only thing this woman's doing is telling people that she's racist. And because she has these weird thoughts and beliefs, she assumes that everybody else must be racist. I can look past the glasses in this instance because they're highly irregular. But I think that all she's doing is saying, hey, I'm racist and therefore everybody else must be now if you're like me and you do a podcast with a black guy you can't be racist obviously by this logic however i think this woman's just admitting that she's racist and in order to dissuade her guilt she's like hey everybody else is too i'm the only one that's willing to admit it so i yeah you know she might want to work that logic out she does and she says or people like her use that line of logic like oh you have a black friend you can't use that as your token black friend and it's like no nah, man that's that's not it at all. You don't use them as cover. You use them because you genuinely don't feel those things in your heart of hearts. Like, what? How does she get to this conclusion? She's just repeating things she's heard before, obviously. She's saying, you got to unpack this. And, you know, words are, or thoughts are violence. Words are violence, basically. And it's not enough to not actually be racist. You have to go the extra mile. It's not enough to, you know, interact with people who aren't of your race or whatever you want to call it which would probably show that if you want to positively interact with somebody of another race, you're probably not racist against them, but that's not enough. You have to do even more. And I guess admitting that she's racist is her idea of going above and beyond <laughs> what is expected of a, an ally. I know. I never, I never understand the bulk of this ideology, not just because it's absolute Looney Tunes, but because it's also <laughs> so sorry. You can hear the choo-choo trains in the background. They are just, I don't know, may or may, Mayor Pete must be out there. Um, I was going to say, it might be overturning away. as we speak. <laughs> Shit, I hope not. Um, but anyway, you know, these these Looney Tunes, they get this ideology and then they push it out. And it's like TikTok is their therapy session. Um, <laughs> all of your friends just went to get a pointless degree in sociology. Why don't you go to a real therapist instead of using TikTok as your outlet? Because I'm done watching videos like this. I mean, we do this all the time. And don't get me wrong. I think it's funny. But like, geez, get a real therapist, right? Well, as a man who watches a lot of cringe on TikTok, not on TikTok, I don't have it, but I, the search term of cringe, there's the train, the search term of cringe is high up there on my YouTube history. And I have concluded definitively that the only people on TikTok that aren't like deranged are the people from the deep south or wherever it might be that really just think they're posting these cool clips where they like turn into a vampire or a werewolf or anything. That's the best you're going to get. Everybody else on TikTok has some sort of mental illness that they're running from or trying to present to the public as, as you said, a form of therapy. I enjoy, yeah. you know, the, the 120 pound guy with the 400 pound girl, like seconds away from kissing. And then they turn into vampires and do a lot of this and a lot of that. <laughs> People That's are what so I'm there freaking for. weird. Thank you.